Hi, boys and girls. Let's reuse some newspaper to create a project for Earth Day. For this project, you will need a piece of newspaper. You could hold it either vertically up and down or horizontally from side to side. You will also need a black marker and some coloring supplies. And if you don't have black marker, you could also use black crayon. And if you would like to draw your picture with pencil first and then trace, you could definitely do that. But I find that it's much easier to use black marker right away. This way you could see the drawing that you're making because pencil doesn't really show up very well on newspaper. Let's frame our artwork by drawing some lines, vertical and horizontal lines to create a rectangular shape on our piece of paper. Go over those lines once more to make them a little thicker and more bold. And add some diagonal lines in the corners. in the center of your paper let's draw a large circle I like to practice with my marker or my finger first to make sure that I have it the right size and then I go ahead and draw my circle this is going to be our earth let's draw a heart using some arrows so it kind of looks like the recycling sign. Go ahead and start in the middle, curve up and over and down, but then stop, take a hop and draw a V for the bottom of the heart, then stop, take another hop and curve up around and back to the middle, but don't attach the three lines. Now let's repeat those lines on the inside of the heart, but don't close off the ends. Next, draw a little arrowhead like a triangle at the end of each line. Next, let's draw the continents. This part is going to be a little tricky because we have that recycling heart in the center, but just try your best. And you can look at a map if you would like to, to draw these continents, or you could just do them from memory. They don't have to be exact. I like to make sure I put North America and South America in the center, and then I add Europe and Asia off to the sides and maybe a little dot here and there for some islands. Once you have the lines for your continents, you can go ahead and trace over them one more time to make them a little bit more bold. I'm next going to write an important message on this artwork. I'm going to write, save our earth. And what I like to do is practice writing it out sometimes before I start to write my letters. This way I have enough spacing. If you would like to write this message, you can, but if you have a different message in mind, feel free to write anything you want. Remember it's Earth Day, so let's make our messages relatable to saving the Earth or protecting our Earth. If you don't know how to write bubble letters or block letters, you can use normal hand lettering or you can watch my video on how to make bubble and block letters. They're very, very easy to make. 
You can even practice writing your letters on a separate sheet of paper before you write them on your artwork. After you're done writing your important message to save our earth or protect our earth, go ahead and draw whatever other designs you would like on your paper to just make it a little bit more special. I'm going to add some hearts. You can add anything you want. You can add some stars, some smiley faces, flowers, whatever you choose. You can also add other words to your work of art. Going around my earth, I am going to write the words reduce, reuse, and recycle. Those are three very important things that we all should try to remember to do in our everyday life. When you're all done drawing, go ahead and add some color to your artwork. I'm going to use some crayons and markers today. If you drew your artwork with pencil, make sure you trace before you start coloring. It's extremely important to remember to trace today because if you don't, your pencil marks are going to be very, very hard to see on the newspaper. When you're all done coloring, don't forget to sign your name on your artwork. I hope you enjoyed reusing some newspaper to create a beautiful work of art today. Always remember to have fun, be creative, and don't worry if you make a mistake. See you next time.